Good day guys, welcome to Emulated Ben and in today's episode we are going to cover how to connect SPI screens uh, to Raspberry Pi. I know that SPI screens don't have the greatest reputation like the composite screens or the HDMI screens because of the refresh rate and uh, the sort of data handling uh, the way it's done on the SPI interface. Um, but there are a couple of methods where you can connect to Raspberry Pi and get a decent playable frame rate out of it. So if you are interested in that sort of uh, thing, uh, please stay tuned. Now one of my biggest frustration of getting a SPI screen was that I had no clue how to connect it uh, to the Raspberry Pi. Um, the manual, the instruction manual that came with this it wasn't really helpful at all. Um, so after days of sort of spending time into forums and YouTube videos and other stuff, it was still not very clear and then I came across a guide uh, from Pseudomod uh, forums. Um, it's a sort of nice and easy guide to uh, to set up uh, set up the screen, uh, but I thought I'll just do a video describing step by step how to do it, what to do, and how to configure the screen. All right, so I have uh, a 2.8 inch SPI screen. Uh, now it's got various pins, as you can see over here on the left. What we are interested in is nine pins starting from the VCC goes all the way up to MISO so these are the nine pins that we are interested in that drives the, the LCD we are not interested into the touch control because this is not a touch uh, screen SPI uh, this is just a, a normal non-touch SPI screen Alright, so we have our Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, pins on the left and we got the SPI screen on the right. As I said earlier, we are only going to be worried about the, the 9 uh, pins from the bottom and not going to worry about the top pins for the touch screen control. So, starting from the bottom, we got the voltage in, uh, which is the 3.3 volt. So we're going to connect that to pin number 1 which provides 3.3 watt power. So 3.3 watt goes into the VCC. Uh, the ground goes into the pin number 20. Like so. The CS pin will go into GPIO 24 or pin number 18. Uh, reset will go into GPIO 25 or pin number 22 is in here. Uh, DC which means data and control which will go into G pin number 24 or GPIO 8 so it's in here. Um, we have uh, Mozi, Mozi pin goes into Mozi, which is quite nice and simple. Pin number 19. Uh, SCK, SCK is SPI or SCLK. So SCK will go into the SCLK, nice and easy. LED will be going into GPIO 18 or pin number 12. Uh, and finally MISO. MISO will go into the MISO, nice and simple, pin number 21, SPIO MISO. So that should be it uh, for connecting this uh, screen to the Raspberry Pi.
That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. So if you liked it, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye for now.